important in that instance is the appearance of power in triggering the way we actually think and feel about it. Damon John is one of the biggest power players in the fashion world, personally building FUBU from a few boxes of hats to a clothing line selling in the billions. And Damon keeps pushing forward, building new companies and telling it all in his new book, Display of Power. All right, Damon, sitting on the billion dollar empire, you have the power that people want. What's the magic secret sauce? The magic secret to power is to be decisive. And I think power, and I always say this to everybody that I know, is to pause. And in that sense is to pause and step back and look at your life, pause and step back and look at a decision. Do not react, respond, and you have to be decisive. Along those lines, you talk about weak power and strong power. Absolutely, when I opened up my book, you know, um, I wrote a story about when I found myself on the floor with a gunman behind me. And, you know, growing up in the neighborhood I grew up in, Scarface and Casino, these are the type of things that we thought are how you get power by force. Later on in years, when that gunman was supposedly a friend of a friend, he called me 10 years later and said, my life hasn't been the same since that incident. Can you forgive me or are you, are you gonna hurt me or what are you doing? And I said, I'm past that, I didn't think of that. And I realized, that strength and the way and force is the weakest power of all. We can all rob or steal or be forceful to somebody, but to make them move with your motion and understand your movement and feel like they're getting something as well as giving something is powerful. So you, it, uh, ironically, the guy with the gun to head was not in the power position in that instance? Not at all, he actually was the weakest because he was the one who needed to take. But when you were in that position, because you have this power cycle, we're going to talk about when in a second. When I was in that power position, I needed to forgive and I needed to say, I'm past that. And, you know, a lot of times when people take a physical power on you, they expect a recourse, and that's a very vicious cycle. And if I would have taken that energy or anything else to transform my life to being mad at him or getting back at him or everything else, that is taking something from me. Okay, Dr. Lindsay talked about this power psyche. Give me the Damon power psyche and how you put it to work every day. Power psyche is to, first of all, give, because people have to feel like they're walking away with something. Power psyche is to have people follow, have few lead many. It's to be very decisive. A lot of people take decisiveness as being mean or whatever the case may be, but if I know the end of the road is gonna end like this, I'm gonna make that decision now to either make it better for myself or cut my losses. So both of you guys saying the same thing. On some level, power is simply feeling it, but if it's so simple to tap into that power, why isn't everyone doing it? 